My name is Joshua Bay, and I'm a public benefit specialist at Takis McGinnis Elder Care Law. I'm going to talk about two of the four Medicare savings program, Qualified Medicare Beneficiary, QMB, and Specified Low Income Medicare Beneficiary, SLMB, and how they both benefit your choices, eligibility. The QMB program provides Medicaid benefits to individuals who are entitled to Medicare Part A. It assists with Medicare Part A and Part B premiums deductibles, and co-pays for those eligible for Medicare. Approved for QMB, you have little if any out-of-pocket costs for care other than your patient liability amount to the facility. The eligibility start date is the first day of the month after the application is approved. To be eligible for SLMB benefit, an individual must be entitled to Medicare Part A. It assists with your Medicare Part B premiums. This means that your Social Security net income will increase. This will change your patient liability. Tincare deducts your Part B premium from your income. Since Medicaid is now paying your Part B premium, you now have more net income. Tincare will assign this to your patient liability amount. The eligibility start date is the date a Tincare application is filed or the date you become eligible for the program, whichever is later. Both QMB and SLMB have financial limits. The income limit for QMB for a single individual is $1,032 monthly, $1,392 monthly for a married person. The income limit for SLMB for a single individual is $1,234 monthly and $1,666 monthly for a married person. The countable resource limit for both QMB and SLMB are the same. For a single individual, the countable resource limit is $7,560. For a married person, it's $11,340. If applying for choices are one or choices two, you're automatically screened for QMB and SLMB eligibility. If you're approved for either, of the programs, TenCare will notify you in writing with their choices approval letter. Enrollment in either of these programs will also qualify the recipient for extra help or low income subsidy to help pay for Medicare Part D prescription drug costs. That's it for today's overview of QMB, SLMB, and Choices. If you have any questions, just give us a call.